In this exercise, we are going to explore some of the visualization tools that we can use in SAP predictive analysis to answer some business questions. We'll be using the DMEF uh, mod uh, Baker modified data set. This is the data set of donation activity from uh, a nonprofit organization. So this data has already been imported and we've already engaged in some data preparation, so it's geocoding the data, for example. And we have a series of questions we'd like to address regarding uh, the data that we're dealing with. First, we'd like to figure out what the average value of a donation is uh, made to this nonprofit organization. This can be answered very easily. Let's go to uh, Visualization. And we will grab our value of donation variable here. It's default setting when we brought it over into the measures level. Note we're dealing with the measures version, not the attributes version. We will change this default to average. And we'll simply drag this over to the y-axis. It appears that it's about $40. You can hover over it and it'll confirm that $40.78. You can also right click and asked to show this as a uh, data label. So the average donation value is $40.78. Now let's dive a little deeper into this question and see if this average donation level varies depending upon the type of state that we are doing the, donate, uh, the requesting for donation activity. So in this case, let's switch over to a new type of chart. We'll use a scatter plot. And in our scatter plot, we will, let's drop out our value of donation for a moment. Let's take a look at the number of appeals and drag that into our x-axis. So this is that the number of actually unique times that we have submit, uh, requested individual uh, for that year to make a donation. Let's look and then take the number of donations, drag that into the y-axis. And then for this, uh, for our dimensions, for our legend here, let's look at this at this by the state. Now this we will use our attributes values here. We will grab the state variable and we'll drag that into legend color. I'm going to right click on here and turn off data labels. Here we go. So what we see here is for each individual state, across all years in our data set, the total number of appeals that we've made to that state, to, to someone in that state to make a donation to us, and then the total number of donations that that person has made. So for example here I'm hovering over Texas, and it turns out that we have sent about uh, 18,728 appeals, and in turn we have uh, received uh, 1,892 donations. Now what we'd like to really find out here, uh, a little more detail, is what about the total value of these donations? So sure, people have actually made a donation, but does the value of these donations vary um, across particular states? So we could imagine a situation where a state might make a lot of donations, but the average value of those donations is relatively low, whereas in other cases, there may be few donations for a state, but the actual total value of those donations are quite high. So in this case, we're going to actually take advantage of, uh, in our measures column here, bubble width. So it'll expand these bubbles based on some sort of measured criteria. And let's look at that value of donations variable again. And this is our average. We've had it set to average, not to sum. Sure enough, we definitely see some uh, interesting variation. I'm going to minimize this for a second so we can explore this in a little more detail. So there's definitely a linear relationship between the number of donations and the, uh, I'm sorry, the number of appeals and the number of donations as evidenced by a, a straight line here across the data points. However, the average value of the donation certainly varies across uh, states. For example, we're looking here at Texas. Texas has an average value of donation of $60.08, which is certainly far above the total average. On the other hand, while we have a lot of donations for the state of Florida, oops, the average value of the donation is only $32.58. So 
quickly we realize based on this visualization there's something very interesting going on. Um, we can definitely make the generalization that the number of appeals, uh, as, as the number of appeals increases, as does the number of donations uh, for an individual state. However, the value or the total value of those donations varies across some other criteria. I'm going to pull back up my measures again. Now, right now we've been looking at the total aggregate of this data across all years. Let's uh, filter this out and just look at the most recent year and see if there's any differences. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to grab my year variable here and drag it into our filter menu. And we see we have data from 1998 to 2003. Let's just look at our most recent year. I use the slider bar here to look at just 2003. We see there's definitely some differences in the pattern of donations. New York's value donation is $42. Ohio's down to $35. Florida's $34. And let's uh, look at this one more time. Let's take a look at 1998. And we see the total value of those donations is substantially, it's quite small in the 1998. I suspect that that's something because we don't actually have all the data from 1998. So let's take a look at 1999. Uh, we see some data that seems to make a little more sense here. And again, Texas has large donations. Florida has a value of only $29. So this is a quick way to sort of exp uh, using a, a line chart, I mean, sorry, a scatter plot, we can uh, explore some of the relationships between our variables here and see how uh, multiple different variables vary across uh, a select cr criteria, in this case, by state.